Hi, we're Preston and Patsy Miller. We're sitting in front of our auto repair shop, Miller Tire and Auto, where I do the repairs on the trailers. And this is our dog, Tabitha. We would love to greet you if you come over and visit us at Miller Trailer Sales, as she usually comes to the office with me every day there. Let's get started showing you the Tab 320X, the new 2021 has a lot of special features that were not incorporated in previous models. So the first thing I want to show you is the new cassette toilet. The new is really old because it was on the Tada before. And now we have the cassette toilet back again. Very simply to take it to uh, unload it, you pull out the handle, which really isn't this hard. And then you can wheel it to where you want it. You can twist, you can close the handle, you can pick it up and dump it. You can press on the release to release air so it flows faster. So it has a lot of convenience in that you can use it at a dump station or in a campground without a dump station in their toilet. Next thing I want to show you is the larger storage tub. We have the propane and the battery in here, but the, the tub is at least half again as big as the old one had been. The familiar disconnect switch. The rest of the frame is very familiar to you. There is an optional platform that I'll show you in the next video. We've got new plastic handles. Uh, they're actually quite sturdy. I think more sturdy in their construction uh, and attachment than what the metal handles had been. One of the beautiful things is the way this trim sets on top instead of overlapping the corner. They've gone to an embedded heater rail. The embedded heater rail is uh, very attractive. It's got an opening here so we can put the uh, rope in for the tent or the awning or the visor and create a seamless attachment but the beautiful thing about the uh, trim on top is that it doesn't um, restrict it from the expansion and contraction that it needs to do plastic expands at a greater rate than the metal and when it was overlapping there would sometimes be uh, distortion in the winter you would actually see a twist We have the uh, tab style door with the trash can in it, the privacy window, fire extinguisher into the door. Inside, we have the special larger restroom. The shower actually comes out of the back. There's a sink behind the toilet and uh, just much more room in the bathroom, a person my size can easily function here, washing their hands, turning around, using the toilet. Plenty of space for most people if they're sitting down. Also, the door itself is more private than the other door had been. We have new cabinetry, larger storage area, top and bottom, deeper, and overhead we have shorter cabinetry which allows better visibility for the sink and the stove. We have a new stove that opens and sets into the hinges so it doesn't come down, and we have the uh, self-igniter here so when you're going to light it, uh, you simply click it to make it light a nice stainless steel faucet that is very special 
here we have the three a uh, two-way fridge instead of the three-way the two-way fridge you'll never have to use propane for it um, it's a high efficiency fridge with a freezer which the three-way fridge did not have it's got a magnetic catch for the door so it stays open when you lift the lid and um, I think you'll like the spaciousness and storage multiple places you can put that shelf depending on what you're storing in the fridge inside here one of the really special parts is that we're able to have two separate sleeping sides which means that one person can go to bed and have their bed all made up while the other person stays up so this particular area I can I can have the table set up sit on the couch here while my partner goes to bed so what I want to show you here is the most special part of this camper is the Aldi system the Aldi system is our heat and hot water source we've got everything that's related to the plumbing right in this area there's a nautilus 2.5 uh, water center on the outside all the plumbing is done with the water pump right here in, in the compartment the aldi is in my mixing valve is right here um, very little needs to be done in here when you winterize it you can actually do all the winterizing from outside instead of having to come inside the one thing that you would want to do inside would be to change or empty the dirt out of the screen at least once a year, preferably more often, but certainly you would do it when you winterize. If there would be any dirt coming from your freshwater tank, you would take the screen off there. All right, the Aldi system is so fantastic because it's quiet. There's no other uh, heating system on the market that is as quiet as the Aldi. Most of them are forced air systems and they cycle on and off at night. Uh, they're miserable sleeping some nights because they wake you up, whereas the Aldi system does not. Now when I put the bed, uh, the, the back of the couch down, I simply slide this back into that extra inch and allows me to set my bed up. Simply slide in the slide in the bed. I can access the back of this if I need to to inspect anything. My solar controller is right there. There's nothing to look at, but I can communicate wirelessly with that to see what's happening with my solar. This is the back side of the power converter, the air conditioner duct, your water lines going up to the bathroom and the shower. Of course, your power coming into the converter. This would be the power converter itself. It has both the 12 volt fuses and the 120 volt. This was very clever the way they designed the storage area uh, to be a slide out bed. That uh, isn't something that I've ever seen in any other camper. Now there is a storage area behind the couch good for blanket storage you've got one like that on the right side as well in the back here you have some deep storage pockets they go down about six inches the gap across the back is for the radiant heat there are actual radiators double row of thin radiation under there and that allows the gap allows the heat to come pouring out of there in the back here you have two doors that open fully for access to storage. Two LED lights on each side. New narrower speakers to give you more width in your cabinet. The table is very special. It's the same table that they've been using. But if you haven't seen it, I need to show it to you fits on a keyway 
sets down like that. I can move the table out of the way if I don't want it, except for maybe a drink while I'm sitting here and talking. Or I can spin it around and use it as a table to eat at. This table can also be placed outside on a bracket just like that. The storage on this side is similar to the other side. If I want to lift it up, yeah, just as storage, of course, I keep the bed collapsed. You can reach that handle from the outside when the bed is open. Simply reach in through here and you can take it out to adjust your stabilizer jacks. Stabilizer jacks are horizontal. They used to be front and rear, had a diagonal in the front. And they crank down quite quickly. Using the attachment on a drill would be an option, but it's not a real necessary option. This is an aluminum step, folds in very efficiently. You've got the 120 volt power and that's the outdoor table bracket I spoke about. At the back here, this redesign is so special. It used to be that the butt was fastened to the top here and had a joint. That was sometimes problematic if um, flexing occurred or, or if you bumped it, whatever, you backed into something. It was a big job to change that. Here, if the trim gets cracked, there's aluminum underneath there. The water, this is one sheet of aluminum front to rear all the way down to the jacks. So any water that goes through here just pours out the bottom. Before, if you broke something here, you are guaranteed to get a water leak. Here, you could damage plastic, and you're just changing the plastic. You're not having to deal with a major repair. Over on the side, we have the familiar outdoor shower in black now instead of white. Makes it more attractive with the graphics and the silver. Here we have the new Nautilus 2.5. The Nautilus 2.5 is... your water center, and this could be used to winterize from the outside. You have a switch to flip on the pump, which is really nice because that way you can simply um, drain, bypass, close your drain valves, screw it onto the winterized position. It tells you where everything is to be done. and. Uh, Valves are given indications for filling the tank and all of that. You would fill the tank right through this valve. You would also be able to hook up city water through there. And to hook up the city water, you simply bring the hose up from the bottom. And then use a 45 degree fitting to tie in your water hose. There's even a light in here. So if you're doing this at night, you switch on the light and uh, you're good to go. When I say switch on the light, I believe that's a motion detector on it that turns it on automatically. So that's our new Nautilus 2.5. And here would be your 30 amp power cord, again with a black cover, which makes it more attractive. Up here is the radio antenna, and uh, this is a vent for the plumbing. About the radio, they no longer supply a radio. They do have a television, and they have something called a Jensen Cube. The Jensen Cube is an entertainment center that has a USB, wrong, an HDMI connection for using a portable DVD or a streaming device like a Roku or a Fire Stick. And uh, that's what they've gone to that way as your entertainment equipment gets older, 
you can just replace it on your own and you don't have you're not locked into having a DVD player that you have to send out somewhere uh, it's much more efficient in terms of the user uh, when you have those options so that is the new 320s if you have any questions for us uh, be sure to call Miller Trailer at 215-249-8327. You'll be speaking to either Patsy or my son Sam, who's the office manager. So, thanks for watching.